Hey, this is Mike Sigula from truthfear.com. So today I want to tell you a little story. And um, so basically I've been relying on my dreams for guidance for maybe 13 years in total. And, you know, I get all sorts of interesting dreams that show me things about my life or, you know, what might happen in the future or uh, what I'm doing wrong, what I'm supposed to be doing, all sorts of things like that. And in one of my recent dreams, I was shown that I need to focus more on helping other people. So I decided, okay, let's, let's do it. Let's look for some opportunities to help other people. And, um, you know, a couple of days later, or I don't remember, maybe a day later or something, I was looking for a parking spot. Um, you know, I'm currently staying in Krakow, which is my hometown. It's in Poland. I'm living in city center, so I basically have to look for a parking, which is a couple of sometimes like two kilometers away from where I'm staying. And um, normally it takes me a couple of minutes, but this time I just couldn't find any parking place. And it was definitely uh, unusual. It it took me a lot longer than normally and I was already getting fed up a little bit with looking for parking. You know, I decided to park very far, but I decided to have a jog on the way back home. And once I finally found the place, I left the car and a few meters away from the car, I found a pair of keys on the floor. and was an address on the keys so I felt like oh, okay this is interesting you know maybe that's why I was looking for the parking so long because here is an opportunity to help someone so I decided let's you know go to the place um, and deliver the keys and that was another 10 minutes of jogging slightly in a slightly different direction so on my way to that place, I'm seeing this homeless guy who is basically looking for food and checking different waste bins. So just the night before, it was one of the coldest nights in Poland in 15 or 20 years. You know, it was something like minus 20 degrees Celsius, which is minus four Fahrenheit. So it was super cold and you know obviously people who live on the streets a lot of them might even die because of uh, temperature right so this guy he didn't look like anyone who's actually drinking any alcohol which is interesting because most of the homeless people i see they normally have some kind of addiction issues but this guy looked like you know old person with some kind of mental illness or, or mental health issues so I felt like, okay, well, this is another opportunity for me to help someone. And maybe that's exactly why I was directed to go towards this place. So I decided, you know, let's just talk to him. And um, when I asked him, hey, how's it going? Do you, you want to eat some food? He just looked at me and I could clearly see, you know, he has some mental health problems. So he just nodded and I said let's let's have a walk like a few minutes from here there is a takeaway shop we can just get some food for him so I you know, went there um, bought him some food some some hot drink and decided to continue with my jog to deliver the keys once I got to the place um, there was a note on the wall which was giving the address of you know, the company ad administrating the building, which was another five minutes walk. So I decided to jog there and delivered the keys. And, um, you know, the lady was like really happy. That she said something that maybe the cleaning company lost the keys. So today, that was, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And today I was running again. I was in a little bit of a different part of the city and again I met the same homeless guy and um, 
and again I, I just came I felt like hey how's it going he was doing exactly the same thing you know he was just looking for food walking from bin to bin and and I was like hey hello do you remember me do you, do you need something to eat and he again nodded and went quickly to a place on the other side of the street bought him some sandwich with hot tea and I'm telling you this story not because I want to brag about how great I am helping people or anything like that you know it's not about that uh, you know it's it's nothing really it's 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 just a simple thing but I want to kind of remind everyone here that we're going through so many challenges over the last year you know everyone probably has some kind of problems <laughs> I don't think I know anyone who wouldn't have any issues including myself and you know a lot of people complain that they cannot go on holidays or you know they cannot go to a festival or concert or nightclub or bar whatever and if you think about like these kind of problems that so many of us face are completely nothing you know comparing to some of those people out there who have to live on the street when it's freezing cold and look for food in waste bins like this is just an example but keep that in mind if you have roof over your head you can still have some food it's warm in the place you're staying you're already better off than millions of people on the planet so i think it's important to remember that some of these things we complain about are things that other people would dream of you know this guy would probably dream of having place to sleep and having food every day without any problems or thinking about it and another thing i just wanted to mention is that if you see especially now with like still freezing temperatures in so many places if you see someone who needs help maybe think about them sometimes it's not like i'm gonna help everyone i i see all the time because you know it just happens every day but this guy he didn't look like anyone who needs money for alcohol he he was just trying to survive that's all anyway if you want to stay up to date with some of my vlogs and ideas and things I'm sharing, I start doing them almost every day. Make sure you subscribe and um, till next time.